Something has survived. <laughs> it's the Lost World. Hello, Internet. I'm Scarecrow85, and this is the Lost World Jurassic Park. But this is the Master System version, because, you know, I seem to play a lot of Master System versions of things. I don't know, I just, I grew up with one of these, and, and the games that were made for the Master System, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, not Master System, Game Gear. thing is, is that the Master System and Game Gear were basically interchangeable. The games that came out for one tended to come out on the other. Oh look, I've got a giant console of Nexus. That seems... that makes total sense. Baryonyx area, yay. So yeah, if I accidentally call this the Master System, it's because it... yeah, it basically is. Ooh, small dinosaur. <laughs> Dead dinosaur. <laughs> oh, kill, kill it, kill it. Whatever that was, Coelophysis sort of looking thing. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I really like uh, the Game Gear and the Master System games, they're very cool. And as you may know if you've seen any other of the games on my channel, in particular I did the Jurassic Park game that was for the Master System. I really liked it. I absolutely loved it, in fact. I mean, it's the one I grew up with as a kid. And uh, it occurred to me to search the internet and see if there was anything done for The Lost World, and there was. Jurassic Park got a video game sequel as well as a movie sequel, obviously. Whoa, that was a bit weird. But I never played this one as a kid. In fact, I don't think anyone did. This was a really rare game, apparently. Um, hang on, can I can I shoot this guy? <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Nope. <laughs> just, just got it. <laughs> um, I don't know where he sank to, mind you. We're, it's pretty shallow water. Anyway. Oh, hang on. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> there is an Asaurus by the look of it. That was an unusual choice. So yeah, this this game was super rare. Oh, Pachycephalosaurus, here we go. Um, not a lot of people got a chance to play it, I don't think, from what I've read about it. It seems to be an unusual, fairly unusual game. Ugh. Um, but it's a really good one. I've only actually played this once before. Um, I played it just the other day, after recording uh, my Jurassic Park video, actually, for this channel. I thought I'd have a little look around, see what else there was and uh, stumbled across this, gave it a go, played it all the way through, loved it. So we're playing it now. And uh, yeah, this is a game I wish I'd played as a kid. This is great. Ah, I've got to say though, I don't like this boss. <laughs> ah, that's why. <laughs> so the idea is, ow! The idea is, oh, we got him. <laughs> oh, well, that worked out okay. So the idea is that it works a bit like the Triceratops from the previous game, only you have to wait until he hits any of the trees. And he'll only hit the one that you're standing in. But it's a bit hit or miss as to whether or not he really does hit the tree that you're standing in. Sometimes he just carries on anyway. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that that went by quite quickly. I don't don't like the Pachycephalosaurus boss at all. Oh, okay, we're going to get rid of that. I think that was a Ramphorhynchus, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Looking at it, I don't think it was Dimorphodon, it was too big. Then again, scale means nothing in these games. What was that? <laughs> okay, so there's there's no lives system in this. So if I die, it'll just straight up tell me game over. Um, but if I choose to continue, it'll just let me carry on from where I left off. So I like that about this game. It's not particularly hard in that regard. Although the stages are a little challenging. Uh, your health is dependent on the colour of your jacket. Ooh. And you can collect different uh, different coloured power-ups and so on, I don't know. Is that an Oviraptor? Ooh, got him. Ugh. Ooh, creepy. I'm <laughs> not sure if I like that. So yeah, I've only actually played this once before, so I'm, I am... Well, I'm not going to say familiar with it, but I mean, I, I remember a little bit about the layout of some of these places. I recognise this area. And we're going to do our best to get through this with as few deaths as possible, just because that's more interesting to watch, I think. <laughs> don't really want to see me getting clobbered all over the place. Don't know why they went for a symmetrical Stegosaurus back sticking out of the trees there, but I appreciate the inclusion. <laughs> okay, here we go. To survive, be sure... Skip. <laughs> right, so, what we have here... Oop. The Mementosaurus is going to try and stamp on us, and all we do is shoot diagonally up at his face. You don't have to shoot diagonally, you can jump and shoot as well. And just don't get stomped on. Um, yeah, it's 
novel. It's a bit it's different, I suppose. <laughs> it's kind of weird to have Ow, uh, you know, a, a friendly, harmless herbivore as a major boss in the game. I suppose Triceratops are bosses, but they're a bit more obviously aggressive. <laughs> okay, Brachiosaurus area. Mementisaurus area and Brachiosaur Brachiosaurus area, of course. Now, this to me looks like a desert. I don't really remember there being a desert area on Site B, but, I mean, what do I know? <laughs> Ow. Okay, well, we got that armor pick up, so I guess that's okay. So what are they? Are they Archaeopteryx or are they Dimorphodon? I'm not sure. They look like they might be feathered. Ooh. Ow. Don't like them, whatever they are. Ah. <laughs> okay, then. I like how they find ways of implementing some of these dinosaurs into the stages. It's also funny how they sometimes choose dinosaurs that weren't in the films. In fact, they choose a lot of dinosaurs that weren't in the films. Was that some sort of ankylosaurid? I don't know. It certainly wasn't in the film. <laughs> Not in the Lost World, anyway. We didn't start getting uh, ankylosaurs until, like, what? Jurassic Park 3, I think, was the first ankylosaurus inclusion. So I just lowered these rocks by knocking this rock into that rock with a bullet. Welcome to video games. <laughs> video game logic at its finest. Hmm. Okay. Caution. That's a Carnotaurus. My personal favourite dinosaur. Really pleased it's in this game. And this is one of the very few inclusions of Carnotaurus in a video game or in the Jurassic Park franchise as a whole, especially prior to, to the um, Fallen Kingdom. And in the book, The Lost World, the Carnotaurus was capable of camouflaging itself using chameleon-like abilities. Aha. I should have waited a bit there. Jeez. Come on now. What's that about? Okay, well, I fluffed this right up. Um, so I can't hurt him when he's invisible, basically. But, just like in the book, if you flick the lights on and off, he becomes visible again. And when visible, he is vulnerable. Now, in the book, I think they just scared them off. There were two of them. And I think they just flick the lights on and off until the uh, control just buggered off. Right. Okay, we should be able to dish out a bit of pain here. Come on, Carno. That's it from you. Yes, got him. Ha. Yeah, very happy to see that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, oh, I remember this. Alright, so we're, <laughs> we're being chased by a Triceratops. And we can no longer shoot, but we can do a sort of slide. So this is cool. I mean, most video games try and cram a Triceratops in there somewhere, and uh, they take different forms. In this game, the Triceratops is kaiju massive. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is super huge. <laughs> oh, Stegosaurus. See, that looks good. Although, weirdly tiny compared to the Triceratops. Not really sure. I guess they just didn't care. <laughs> I guess they were, they didn't really they weren't bothering by that point. They're just like, you know, whatever, it's just an obstruction in the game. <laughs> I like the um the way they've done the health in this actually. The fact that it's your character's shirt that changes colour. Uh oh, oh dear. Oh oh no. Oh no. Hang on. Run. Come on. Come on. Okay, I think we made it. Yeah, phew. <sighs> I love how he just casually strolls off the other side of the screen there. Yeah, nothing doing. It's just a massive great Triceratops barreling along behind. <laughs> hmm. So this is nice. I get to play as a Consognathus. It's a bit like that, um... Whoa! a bit like that PlayStation Lost World game where you got to play as a Consognathus, only this isn't even remotely 
not even anywhere near as hard as that one. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Whoa! That killed me in one hit. <laughs> Game over. Press start to continue. Okay, and it just lets us carry on from where we left off. That's good. Okay, well, what I said about the, uh, <laughs> the PlayStation... Uh, Lost World game. Yeah, that, that game was super hard, but at least you didn't die in one hit. Gee whiz. <laughs> but yeah, this, this level isn't that hard, even with the one hit thing going on. Let's just let him... Okay, we're fine. <laughs> yep, nice and nimble. I like playing as the compy in this game. Whoa! Okay, we'll just carry on. It's fine. I like being able to climb up walls and stuff. Pretty nifty. Hi. There we go. Site B. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's where we are. Ah, okay, Dilophosaurus. So that's quite cool. Whoa. Whoops. Presumably we can't get hit more than once. Like, one hit kills here. I like that the Dilophosaurus is actually pretty scary in this one as well. Not a lot to it, you just stay out of his way and hit him when he's, when he's exposed. Classic video games. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then the door opens for some reason. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, Site B area. I mean, I thought the whole thing was a Site, was site B, but apparently not. Oh, oh, hang on. There's a raptor behind us. Go in the door. <laughs> so, uh, oh, hang on. Ow! <laughs> okay, well, that's going to keep me on my toes. So, yeah, um. <laughs> hey, we did it. Mm, keep shooting, keep shooting! <laughs> right, we've got a health pickup, that's good. Oh yeah, I think I was saying earlier, I like the fact that, you know, your your health is done by the colour of your shirt. It just means that there's no clutter on screen, you know, you haven't got any little readouts or numbers or anything. It's just, you can see by looking at your character how things are going. Oh, look, a Dimetrodon. Oh. He's double dead! <laughs> just strolling down the corridor. It's a bit dull, actually, this level. <laughs> I like the scenery, though. Oops, hang on. I quite, quite like having these raptors jumping out on me, though. That's quite cool. Boop. Yeah, you can kind of use your imagination a bit and enjoy this as a... Ah! Ooh. Get out of it. <laughs> as a kid, I would have used my imagination a lot when playing this. Like, I would have really enjoyed this. Ooh, there's another one. They jump quite a long way when they come out of those vents, so I'm, I'm staying out of the way a bit. Yeah, made it. <laughs> Needed another health pickup. Oh, another raptor. The raptors look quite good, actually. Oh, I'm being followed. Boop. Okay, it's going to take some time for that door to open. I like that. Adding a bit of pressure. <laughs> Come on. It would have been better if they'd like flooded the room with raptors or something. I suppose it might have been a bit too hard though. <laughs> I don't know. Funny how games at this time just had to have music all the time. I guess it wouldn't be the same without it. Ooh. Sample T-Rex Raw. Probably means the T-Rex is nearby. How exciting. <laughs> Flashing red to build suspense. Ooh. Yeah, you know what, actually? That's genuinely creepy. <laughs> Not sure about that. Whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah, I remember this. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna crouch here and nope. <laughs> Let's 
Going to move around a lot instead. Ah! <laughs> okay, well that's that's generous of you, game. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> come on, door. Come on, door. Open. I want to get out of here. I don't like this. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're good. We're going down again for some reason, but I don't care. <laughs> Caution. Let's read this one. The Rex is angry. You know, Rex is Latin for king. Just saying. Right. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm not sure if you can use these barrels to hurt the two Rex. Mostly, you just, as far as I can gather, you just shoot it. Shooting it seems to stun it for a moment, which is good. We want that. And it takes the T-Rex a moment to attack you as well. Once, if it only tries to attack you when you're directly underneath its head, and it sort of pauses for a second before it actually attacks you. So, shooting diagonally is definitely the way to do this. But you can also jump and shoot and shoot. <laughs> Ow! What hurt me? I don't know, but I'm not sure I've got enough health to get through this now. Just had to do a perfect run and not get hit anymore. <laughs> what do you reckon? What are my chances here? Oh dear. Oh, I need room to get past it. <laughs> Ugh. Right, in a second it's going to start spawning. Yep, there he is. Ah. Whatever they are. No, I'm facing the wrong way! Ugh! No! <laughs> oh, God! I was facing the wrong way and I couldn't turn around. There wasn't time. The animate... Oh, oh well, I hope you enjoyed that section because we're doing it again. <laughs> so, I think you have to... I'm not really sure how this works because I'm pretty certain you can't defeat the T-Rex before you get to that last part. So, I don't know if hitting it during this sequence really counts for anything. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna... fill it with lead anyway. I don't know why I get hurt if I touch the back of the screen either. That's really annoying. Hmm. It's quite a cool way of implementing the T-Rex though. I, I know that um, a lot of older video games struggle to Ow! Oh, struggled to get the T-Rex in the game because it obviously it takes up an awful lot of space and how do you fight a T-Rex? How do you have it move around the screen? How do you deal with the amount of animation that would presumably be required on a, a T-Rex under the circumstances? So I think this game found a really good solution to it and uh, this looks a lot more like the T-Rex from the film than the one that's in Jurassic Park for the Master System Right Okay, we got this. Got loads of health. We're just going to manage the uh, little horrible things. Stay out our T-Rex's way. There we go, got him! Okay. We're pretty much there. I mean, that was the last stage in the game. All we've got to do now is escape the island. It's the great thing about games of this era. Oh, <laughs> that is a really wonky looking T-Rex. <laughs> That's so rough. Okay, we're, we're escaping. Great thing about games of this era is that they, they had to be quite small. Because, you know, you couldn't save. So, it, it effectively had to be possible to beat these games in one sitting. Especially on a, a console like the uh, Game Gear. Or Master System. But particularly the Game Gear, because it was a handheld. You know, you couldn't really be expected to sit there and play for hours on it. Especially not with the bleeding battery life on this thing. <laughs> so... Yeah, you know, it's only a short game, but I really like that. It's just great fun to tuck into and just blast through this game. Be a good speed running game, actually. So yeah, the finale to this game actually feels like a finale. Um, you've had your boss battle, and now we've just got to flee. So we haven't. I don't know whether this is supposed to be a different T-Rex or the same one. I'm not sure. I mean, there were two in the movie. This one, this game doesn't really imply anything. <laughs> There's just another T-Rex. Once again, though, kaiju-sized. Like, this thing is just humongous. 
<laughs> I interpret the uh, the line at the back to be the horizon. You know, I mean, the fact that the T-Rex can bite us even though his legs or her legs are not visible because they're beyond the curvature of the bleeding earth. <laughs> That's a big T-Rex. Uh, I can only survive being bitten like twice. I think I'm not sure how many hits from those boulders I can take. Ooh, I'm not going to find out if that's alright with you. <laughs> oh, I missed that ramp. Ramps are fun, they don't do anything, you just sort of fly off them. The car takes visible damage as well when the T-Rex bites you, which I will not be demonstrating if I can help it. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a quite an exciting finale to the game, all things considered. Pretty decent looking T-Rex sprite as well, despite its humongous size. And then we skid around a corner, and then there's, there's a building uh, with lights on, and it gets struck by lightning, and the lights go off, and then the, the lights go off. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be depicting. Okay, so I don't know. There we go, we're escaping on our helicopter now. I don't know where this game is really meant to be in terms of the storyline of Jurassic Park. Like... It's not telling the story of the Lost World, really, but it takes place on the same island as the Lost World. So... <laughs> um, the storyline describes you as being like a mercenary who's sent there for some reason. Um, I honestly can't really remember. It's not very important in these sorts of games. But actually, in my own headcanon, I, I have this idea that maybe this game is depicting the hurricane that hits the island and, and wipes it out before... Ian Malcolm and his team go because at the end you see that facility get struck by a lightning bolt and all the power go off and we know John Hammond said that I think it was Hur Hurricane Clarissa wiped out their facility on the island so yeah uh, I guess that's my my interpretation of this game the fact that my interpretation literally clashes with the actual story <laughs> it doesn't matter does it Anyway, we get this nice image of uh, some brachiosaurs sticking their heads out of the top of the trees and the sun's coming up or something. I don't know. Um, so that's nice. We see all the nice people that worked on this game. I think there's a shot at the end of the game which I'm going to I'm gonna show it. But that... Oh, special thanks, Geraldine. Good job, Geraldine. And Janine. Cheers, Janine. And Bot. Everyone loves Bot. And I'm no, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> A lot of games of this period used to say "Andy, you" at the end. It used to make me feel good. <laughs> so our little mercenary man got away with his compsognathus. I want to know his story. Where did he get to? I want to know about this guy who's got a pet compy. I like the idea of pet dinosaurs in the series. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, that was the Lost World Jurassic Park little grainy soundbite there. Very good. Really fun. Very simple little game. You know, not particularly challenging. But worth a look. You know, if you're into little bite-sized games, and I think it might be worth having a crack at speedrunning that, because it's it's probably an easy one to, to practice. <laughs> There's not a lot to it. Um, and as Jurassic Park games go, yeah, you know, why not? It's pretty decent. It's certainly not too difficult. Some of the Jurassic Park games, jeez. They're just ridiculous in terms of difficulty. That PlayStation one. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. That was a full playthrough of The Lost World on Game Gear. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.